Hello, this is H.C. Bailey. And I'm J.B. And welcome back to Let's Play Seiken Densetsu 3! Let's go after the next Mana Spirit, or whatever. I thought we should have used Luna, or Lumina, or Wes, whichever one. Well, Fairy was the one who got us back over here the first time. Oops. Nuts. Crap. Yeah, he didn't even watch where he was going there. Well, Perry, revive us! Come on! Hey, listen! I hope that doesn't become a running joke for this LP. Uh, so I'm forbidding you from saying that other line. I, I don't know the other line. The rude one. Oh, that one. Don't worry, viewers, I will backhand him if he says it. <laughs> so where is this, anyway? Why is everything moving so slowly? I don't remember it moving so slowly. Hmm. Oh, there we go. Your computer sucks. <laughs> well, that could be, too. So, did we die? Or uh, near end lifespan super NES graphics. It's about as good as it gets. Maybe uh, I think Terra Nigma is a little better, but no way. The mana tree there for those who uh, don't recall that from the intro. Oh, there's a whole bunch of fairies. Hey, hey, listen, listen, hey, hey, listen, hey, hey. You must find a boy. Oh, so there were four fairies. Oh, God. Can you imagine having four nobbies in one game? Oh. Well, technically, every Koriki kid had one. They just didn't talk. Oh. Yeah, that is to true. You. Well, and there were two in uh, Majora's Mask. Yeah, but that one, they, they were actually remotely tolerable. Yeah. Oh, only one of the maidens. So what are there like multiple wisps and the, all the other spirits? The background's like a Flintstones cartoon. <laughs> yeah, pretty much. What's going on? Oh man, we're all nearly dead. There we go. Oh hey, it's uh well for those who don't recall, it's Duran. One of the other characters we could have recruited. There's no, uh, what is it? Tenure sec or something. Hmm. Or for Chrono. Yeah, pretty much. Well, then why did you go to sleep then? Well, I suppose you gather that every now and then, but. That's the basis for every Nightmare on Elm Street movie. Hey, Duran, why don't you just do like Chrono and, uh, well, Chrono Trigger. Hey, get your damn hands off me, you filthy animal. Er, I'm trying to combine two quotes at once and I miserably failed. I'm sorry. You haven't even seen the other movie. Thank you for stopping just before I uh, close the gate on you, moron. At least he got to keep his soul. I don't think I've ever played that game. <laughs> I haven't either. All right, there we go. Now, if you didn't have Carly as your third party member, whoever was in that cell there would have been your third party member. Yay, happy music. And we're uh, healthy again. I don't think we need to worry about uh, saving right now. Let's go take a look around. Whoa. Yeah, we got all these wolves that I guess the these guys left behind or something. I think they're the more degenerate beast men. Hmm. Never really thought about that. Well, unfortunately, it's still nighttime, I guess. Always want to keep it nighttime if you can. 
you're a mayor. I don't think he'd be more like a sultan. Or... You know, this is going to be sad that I've noticed this now, but part of the reason why I wasn't playing for the last two weeks is because I got uh, Assassin's Creed 1 on uh, the Steam sale that was going on a few weeks back. And that guy looks a lot like one of your assassination targets in the game. <laughs> uh, go for uh, Vitality. Huh? Or Constitution. The blue one. I was looking at the list rather than the screen. There we go. Let's see, is Carly going to gain a level? No, not yet. Open it. Come on, Mimic. Yes. Oh, nuts. Well, I guess now we get to demonstrate Mimics. If you hit get the chest on the Wheel of Fortune, uh, he turns into a Mimic or something, and he... Fairly hard to kill. We can barely even damage him. There we go. Well, maybe if I use all my text. Something. Ow! Bit me on the ass. Cooking it was. Well, I got two good hits in on him. Lucky me. Usually I can't get that many hits on a uh, single item. Wow, this is actually pretty tough. Come on. There we go. I'll try it one more time. If it's a mimic again, I'm leaving. Okay, that, screw this, I'm out of here. It is not worth it. I just wanted to show that to you, viewers. Okay, that's a good experience, though. Too bad, I, I don't care at this point. We are, that took off like almost half our life bars. That's because I suck and you're out of practice, or I'm out of practice and you suck. Well, that too. All right, let's blow this joint. I suppose I could have healed that statue there if I really wanted to after that ogre box thing, whatever. But these guys are easy enough. I know this is not their cousins later on. Yeah, oh, those guys. We will get to those guys eventually, but uh, yeah. By the way, just so you know, viewers, uh, enemies do not scale with your levels, like in Final Fantasy VIII or Tactics or whatever. It's just that I'm... Okay, there's no enemies right now. I thought there were. But they, um... What is it? I'm keeping my level... I'm scaling my levels with them. Um, and, well, I'll go over when we need to do level grinding to keep on top of that. But generally, if your levels are about the same as your enemies, you're fine on levels. I really hope that, uh... Okay, go for, uh, Constitution. Or Vitality. Vitality? Yeah. Okay. Now watch this, viewers. See, we learned Heal Like. That's our first spell. Uh, the way it works is the way you learn spells in the game, it's not like Secret Mana where they just hand them to you on a silver platter. Uh, in this game, you have to have the appropriate spirit. Then, whenever you gain a level, the game will check your stats. Because spells, when you learn a spell, you have, you have to have a certain level of stats in order to learn those spells. And what well, Carly already has, the for Heal Light, it's based on spirit. So I check to see if you have such and such amount of spirit, and then if you do, then when you gain a level, you learn the spell. You only learn one spell per level, by the way. I think we got all of them. If we didn't... Oh, we can't get out of here this way. That's right. I can't climb over some two-foot-high barrels. Apparently not. But yeah, so that's how you learn spells in the game. Even if you have the proper stat requirements for learning a spell, they won't, um, you still can only learn one per level. Ha ha! Jump on the side of the boat. I do it all the time in WoW. I remember one time when a boat was leaving a booty bay, I think I managed to snag on to the ass end of the of the boat, the uh, little window polygons that jut out just barely enough. I managed to clip myself onto one and hitch a ride. Alright. So where do we get the next spirit then? Find out soon enough. You're not going to tell us, are you? You know, I was saying earlier uh, about during the level scaling thing, I really hope that for a Skyrim, the uh, Elder Scrolls V, they don't have that in there. That's one of the things I really disliked about Oblivion was the uh, 
Level scaling in that game really never made you feel like you're getting anywhere in the game. Mm. Although on the other side, when I played Fallout 3, finally, uh, level scaling in that game, or the lack of thereof, made it feel really easy once you got to further levels in the game. Well, I'd much rather have the game be too easy than not feeling like you're making any progress. Fair enough. So anyway, we made it to the village of Maya. Nice music they got going on here. Golden Road, huh? Follow the yellow brick road. Follow the yellow brick road. I think that's like a place I used to grind for levels when I was playing the game at first. Oh, nah, nah, we don't need to. Maybe if you're new, you might need to, but uh, I don't feel the need to level grind. For Sena, huh? That was where uh, Duran was from. Oh, well, there's Bazel. Yeah, that's the town I've been telling you about, viewers. King Richard, huh? Well, okay, I guess that's uh, where we gotta go next, huh? I guess he's back from the Crusades. <laughs> oh, well, it looks like they're gonna be alright. Probably make a lot of Assassin's Creed references now. So that's still fresh in my head. Go for it. There's not a whole ton of dialogue in that game. Why are we staffing? Uh, okay, bye. Yeah, yeah, we, we can't get back there. We sensed a disturbance in Damana. Hmm. No, well, let's see if anyone else can give us any more information. What the hell what happened to the happy music? Um, sad music. Okay, how's it going? Bon voyage! Oh, well, let's take a look. Bon sir... I, I don't speak French, even though I'm half French, but... Oh, <laughs> yeah, pretty much. Well, let's see what's going on back here. Well, it's not really appropriate music for this, but... Huh? How's it going? Huh? Well, but we're just going to take the bridge to get over there. Oh, so they're just inventing cra cannon travel, huh? Huh. What kind of fuse is that? Cannon fuse. What the hell do you use it for? I can. <laughs> uh, let's see. We are at Maya, so yeah, we want to buy some equipment here. I wish more games had the uh, Xenogears style of inventory buying. Well, my brother doesn't know it, but in Xenogears, you can pretty much select all your items at once, including uh, quantities too. And then once you want to make a purchase, you can buy everything at once, so you get a price for everything together. <laughs> Oh, that's an interesting way of doing it. But so, once, uh, once you get used to it, it is hard to go back to anything else. Hmm. But yeah, with uh, headgear and accessories or rings equipment, uh, they really don't give nearly as much defense as armor. So if you ever find yourself short on money and you need to buy a lot of stuff, just um, just go for the armor. Don't worry about the headgear and stuff. But uh, yeah, that's pretty much it. So now we'll have to head on to Forsana and talk to King Richard about finding more of those elemental spirits. Next time, let's play Seiken Densetsu 3! I'm H.C. Bailey. And I'm JB. Signing off. Have a good day.